Hello and welcome to ITC 4760, Information Technology Evaluation and Implementation 1. I'm Professor Cranville and I'll be your instructor for this course. Students are free to address me by my first name, Cliff. Students will find this course engaging and rewarding as it offers opportunities for students to create an individual information technology project. Students will work with project management tools and procedures in creating and tracking an individual IT project of their choosing. ITC 4760 Information Technology Evaluation and Implementation 1 is the first of two capstone project courses. Now during this first unit of ITC 4760, students will select a system for their personal project and submit it to the instructor for approval. The choice of a system will make the project truly individual and students will become the manager of their chosen project. Approval by the instructor will ensure that the project is suitable for all assignments. Students should contact their course instructor before purchasing or loading any software. Course objectives. First course objective is to justify the use of tools and techniques used in project management, including Gantt charts and project network diagrams. Identify the components of the project management life cycle and the information systems development life cycle and the reasons for project failure and project success. Examine the characteristics of a project team and the factors that influence team performance, including theories of motivation, leadership, and power. Access how communication, planning, information, distribution, performance reporting, and administrative closure are used to enhance project success. Explain the project initiation process and scope planning and their importance to project success. Number six, create an overview of project scheduling and project scheduling techniques, including its importance and the challenges associated with it. Number seven, summarize the importance of managing project resources and explain their effect on project duration. Number eight, Apply project resource management tools and techniques for managing project time. Number nine, analyze the budgeting process and its effects on IT strategy and value. And number 10, explain the process of project procurement management, contract administration, project execution, project control, and project closure. The unit topics for this course are unit one, project management introduction, in Unit 2, students will be introduced to project management and IT. In Unit 3, project manager process groups. And in, pro and in Unit 4, project integration management. Unit 5, we'll look at the project scope management. Unit 6, we'll get into time management. Unit 7, cost management. And in Unit 8, IT project management overview. The weekly schedule. ITC 4760 Information Technology Evaluation and Implementation 1 is a term course. As such, students will be expected to complete weekly the following learning activities as outlined in the course syllabus. Number one, review the unit study guide and learning activities. Two, post their response to the weekly unit discussion. Three, submit their completed assessment. Four, submit their completed assignment. Students should refer to the course syllabus for information on grading and for more information on course requirements. Students with questions on any of the course deliverables can contact their course instructor using email or posting the question to the Ask the Professor forum. Please feel free to contact me as needed. Either use the Ask the Professor forum or send me a direct email. I check my email as much as three times a day, so the preferred method should be to use email. The Ask the Professor form sends an alert via email, but instructors have to log into the course room to read the message, and that might not always be possible until later in the day. So if it's important to you, it's important to me, so please use email to contact your instructor. Again, welcome to the course, and I and CSU wish you all of the success with your studies in reaching your educational goals. Student success is how we measure our success. So please do not hesitate to contact either your instructor, your student advisor, or student services for assistance. Thank you.